up and fight back! Stand up and fight back! A movement is stirring in Minnesota. We need each and every one of you to join us. To bring cheaper insulin to the masses after two young men died struggling to afford it. It's a lot. It's a burden. Alexis Stanley sees herself in both of them, living with type 1 diabetes and being nearly the same age as Jesse Cher Radcliffe, who died last month rationing his insulin. This is my insulin pump. And in six short years, she'll be the same age and in the same situation Alex Smith was in, who died two years ago rationing his insulin just one month after going off his parents' insurance. Seeing myself there when I turned 26, just I hope something's done by then. To save her from spending $500 a month on insulin, she wonders how she'll possibly be able to afford it all. But now she knows she's not the only one in this situation. Everyone's a fighter here. Hundreds rallied in Edina today with Minnesota Insulin for All, regrouping after their bill to create a supply of emergency insulin failed at the Minnesota State Capitol. Moving into 2020, we are more motivated than ever to see meaningful laws passed. But besides that loss, the year has also brought some victories, the group says. Their caravans to Canada to buy cheaper insulin is raising national awareness of the issue and a bill from Senator Tina Smith is now gaining momentum in Washington. Now, I am here today because I have a lot of hope in what we can accomplish together. Though she feels their road to victory is long and difficult, Alexis has faith in the movement, with so many people like her sharing their stories, putting a face to the problem. I think this really brings me hope. It's going to turn some heads. In Edina, Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. Minnesota Insulin for All is planning another caravan trip to Canada next month. A vial of insulin there is nearly 10 times cheaper than it is here in the U.S.